enter this. Why? 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 Profit, that's the only answer that makes any sense. This starts a couple of... Uh, this starts a couple of trends for the series. First of all, it fucks over the ending of the previous movie. And every... I mean, maybe not every single character, but... Yeah, basically, every character is either bland as shit or really obnoxious. And that there's just... there's no... I mean... You don't hate Lori in this one, but that's because she does nothing. You don't hate Jimmy because he does nothing. He's they, they've got no personality in this one. There's nothing to relate to. It's like in those shitty romantic comedies where they make the guy so vague that all that the girls won't be able to find something about them about him that they dislike. It's just just and every other character is just obnoxious and you want them to die and you're just sitting there hoping that Michael will, you know, destroy them and that's when it stops being scary when you when you're not I don't personally have a problem with movies where you're cheering for the bad guy but it's not scary when when the bad guy is uh, you know when when the guy running around killing is not someone that you personally are afraid of, then, you know, what's the, what's the point? It's no longer a horror film. I, I really don't think that we should allow horror to degenerate into this shit where it's just waiting for people to die. That's... If we're not invested in the characters and we're not, like... You know, I mean, with the first one, you're literally saying, No, no, he's behind you, he's sitting back up, turn around, you know, like, and scream. Like we see, um, you know, with Jamie Kennedy, great spoof. And from the second one, and pretty much onwards, you want these people to die. You don't give a shit, because they're just not at all likable. I mean, even the, the that... Um, a black nurse, even when she is supposed to be like sounding like she gives a shit about uh, Lori, she just comes off bitchy and irritating, and and it's not like you get the sense of oh she's had a rough day, she's tired, she wants to go home, she has a tough job. No, she just comes off as a bitch, you know. It and the second one is also where. They actually do, on a regular basis, assign a straight POV shot to Michael Myers. That is wrong, because you know, that makes, that means that you know exactly where he is, exactly what he's looking at, exactly where he's moving toward. It's just, it's scary when you don't know where he is, or when you've got like an inkling of he's got to be there, or he must be, you know. In the first one, you see him stalking them gradually. In the second one, he's just... And also, the second one is the first place where he doesn't kill everyone that he can. Why? He's like, I mean... I'm, I'm not uh, gonna be praising, like, um, on-screen deaths of infants, or even off-screen, but he, like, hides in the maternity ward, the... I don't know what the fuck it's called. Um, room with babies. And he doesn't seem to hurt any of them. He, um, you know, he's almost like playing cat and mouse with some of these people. Why? In the first one, if he doesn't kill someone, it's because they're not alone or he can't quite get to them in time. He doesn't show any kind of... He's not toying with them. He's just waiting for his opportunity. That's terrifying. The toying with them... I mean... Isn't he supposed to be a, a driven killer, pure evil, just going straight? F I mean, what's so fucking evil about playing cat and mouse with possible victims? On the subject of who he kills and who he doesn't, why does he kill that first girl if he's just after his sister? More on that in a bit. 
it was he just was did he find her too exposition happy? I suppose I can appreciate that. On the sister thing, what the fuck? In the first one, he was just you had no idea why he was killing. He was just killing. He was just evil. He was a force of fucking nature. The immovable object, the unstoppable force. And that was perfect, that was terrifying, that's why people wanted more, and they want an explanation, because it is terrifying, and you can't let it go, when you don't know. What you don't know terrifies you far more than what you can put a face on, or some kind of... The moment that you have it explained, it's... It's just, it's kind of, oh, yeah, it's just, you know... The sister, seriously... It was because the studios wanted uh, Jamie Lee Curtis back, they wanted Laurie Strode back. James Car J John Carpenter tried to end it here by saying, okay, whatever, it's the sister, and it's just more of that same night, whatever, and he tried to kill him in the end. Too bad it didn't work out, but more on that. But seriously, he's a killer who kills his female siblings. Think about it for just a second. Think about how fucking ridiculous it is. Some evil spirit possessed him to do murder on his female siblings. Yeah. That kind of, that kind of takes a randomness out of it, doesn't it? In the first one, he was returning to the, you know, the town where he grew up, and he just happens to see her through the fucking window because he's hiding out in the house. And that's it. The randomness. And that, that was perfect because that made him terrifying. That meant that if he caught a glimpse of you, you could be next. And that's... And, and everyone else was just kind of, oh, she's with two other girls. They wind up dead too. One of the girls has a boyfriend who comes over. He de he's dead too, you know? The randomness made it so fucking terrifying. And the second one just completely fucks that up. This is also this is also the first time we hear uh, the whole Sam Hain or so. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just gonna go with Loomis's. By the way, in the first one he was maybe kind of high strung and just you know upset because he was determined. In the second one, he's kind of annoying because he's just really over the top and yelling half of his lines you have to understand this is pure evil and, and he after the first one because his fucking speeches were so fucking awesome in the first one he just keeps restating that same thing in like I think most of the sequels that have Loomis in them because they nailed it the first time and then they keep just trying again and again and because they knew it worked the first. They know it worked the first time. They don't want to stir the pot. They don't want to try to add anything or change anything. More on that later too. But yeah, Sam Hain, as as scary as it is, as it potentially is with the whole you know possession kind of thing, it takes away the mystery. It means that you can never. It means that you can no longer decide for yourself what it was, and that's the, I mean, what there is to the first, what, I mean, what I'd say John Carpenter for sure answers about, um, about Michael Myers is it was not, like, environment, it was not because he was, like, somehow influenced by, you know, it wasn't, he had a bad childhood, which I understand Zom Rob Zombie tries to make it into stay the fuck away from the franchise, Rob. I personally don't agree with the concept of evil, but that's not for here. But that's perfect for Michael Myers. You don't need... The moment that there is an explanation, it becomes much less interesting, even if it is possession, demonic possession, whatever it was. 